Howdy 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 my beautiful Gemini, how are you doing darling? My name is Simply Valka and today we're going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for August 2022, alright? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, Gemini, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading helps you out because that's how I keep up with y'all. Now Gemini, today we're going to get into three rows with tarot uh, for you, alright? We're going to be getting into the person on your mind for your first row today, alright? This could be romantic or platonic, it's just the person that's on your mind, Gemini. Your second row is what you need to hear right now, Gemini, alright? What you need to hear right now from your spiritual team or just from tarot darling and then in your third row today gemini we're going to be getting into your predictions if you continue going down the path that you are going currently gemini i'll be able to try to project what's going to be happening for you but to start out your energy overall gemini you have this ace of wands which is really fabulous this is going to be influencing all three rows all right this ace of wands this is a card of where there's a lot of people feeling attracted to you at this time gemini all right you are exuding this ace of wands energy so you are not only exuding passion i feel like if you lead with passion this week uh gemini leading with your intuition that's where you're going to be having the most success and just the least resistance in your life at this time but also i just really want to again point out the sense of desirability that you are exuding at this time gemini all right i feel like you need to make use of this take advantage of this energy the most as much as possible in the workplace this would be the time to ask for a raise all right and friendships and if you're single especially gemini this is the time to just be going out all right there's a lot of people that would receive your energy in a very attractive way i mean to be very blunt here gemini the ace of wands is known as a card of lust all right i see for you as well gemini uh for momentum with something it's like you've been waiting on some news perhaps waiting for something to start uh to start picking up waiting for the momentum to build up all right and that's going to be happening this week you're going to be noticing traction starting to happen the signs that the gears are starting to turn for you gemini all right so let's get into your first row now for the person that is on your mind right now starting out with the strength knight of cups with that four swords here all right gemini the first thing that i'm noticing here with this is that someone that you haven't talked to in a little bit and i see with that strength card it could have not ended on the best of terms there like i feel like there's just this sense of distaste for how things turned to be all right i you are living in someone's mind rent free to be completely transparent here gemini i get this sense of you where it's like you there's there's this consistent uh sense of where they are running through whatever happened in your head here uh between the two of you guys in their head four swords energy and knight of cups ace of wands strength card then pride still might be an issue here uh gemini for them i am going to be honest here i do feel like pride is the main thing for them so they may not be able to admit it but during self-reflection for them here during that four swords experience they're they're starting to acknowledge what it is that they did wrong here they're starting to get this desire in reaching out to you now whether they will reach out to you or not is a different story uh gemini all right but they are like this is one of those times where i feel like they're like preparing like a text message and then deleting it all right um the easiest way you can tell someone's been searching for you gemini on social media is if uh, uh social media like the facebook or youtube not youtube the facebook instagram like whatever if they start recommending that profile a bunch to you that means that person has been look uh looking you up gemini all right um so you'll probably even notice them trying to like be in the same spaces as you i feel like they'll try to be invited to the same events find out where you're going and they'll try to be there as well you might end up end up coincidentally running into them coincidentally i use in quotes very loosely darling um them showing up at your workplace if you are in that type of work dynamic that it makes sense obviously it's not for you gemini if this is like you work from home right obviously they're not going to show i mean some, let's not deny that some may but you know there is like this sense of where you are living in their mind rent free they are having some consideration of wanting to communicate but just because they have that desire doesn't mean they actually will uh follow through with that all right gemini i really want to be stressing it just because they have this thought doesn't mean they'll follow through we all have thoughts about reaching out and doing certain things gemini but how often do we always take action on all those things that we think about right not all the time not very often most for most 
All right, so let's start clarifying this. Really powerful, extremely powerful here. All right, you have the Ace of Wands in the back of the deck here, Gemini. Again, people like they may not show it right now, especially though, like for the ones that, especially that you know, are not talking to you right now, but they know of you. Like, there's a lot of people obsessed with you. All right, the song that comes to mind is just like, "Why are you so obsessed with me?" Here, like, literally here, Gemini, like you are you are the embodiment of their lesson here all right you are the embodiment of their lesson of where it's just like they're kicking themselves in the butt because of how they treated you they're realizing like what they messed up and like losing out on a good friendship or a good family member someone reliable right there's just this deep reflection of just this again this strong desire wanting to reach out to you because again you are really desirable whether you want to admit it or not gemini again for my singles darling gemini this would be the time Time to be going out put on your dancing shoes darling like a hundred percent this is such a uh like this is the embodiment of gemini just straight up attraction that you're exuding all right you have the ace and four of cups coming in here as well as the seven of wands i had to double check that just to make sure ace and four of cups with the seven of wands gemini all right and so for you well yes we have we are able to acknowledge there's a lot of people that have some a decent amount of regret gemini they are feeling remorseful they want to reach out but pride still might be that issue right definitely because of leo energy you know exuding coming out here but i do see just new energy for you all right i'm going to be honest i see for you new energy i see new people coming into your life here um so i feel like for many of you uh gemini's most of your interest uh most of your time will be taken up socializing should you put yourself out there uh gemini because again like you guys are just really exuding something that every like everyone's wanting to strike up a conversation with you straight up with gemini all right so getting into what you need to hear at this time right now, Gemini, all right? Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles with that Magician energy here. What you need to hear at this time is acknowledging your potential here, Gemini, all right? The Magician card is the one that manifests the reality that they want to see in the world, all right? Following with their passion here, all right? I feel like you guys need to lean deeper into your passions this week, Gemini. If you've been dealing with resistances here, perhaps it's because spirit is kind of uh, correcting you and being like, actually, darling, we want you to be doing uh something else all right like i feel like you guys gemini need to start honoring more about like what sounds good or appropriate for you rather than um worrying about the logistics so much here all right and also a card of action here all right there's this again this direct message here of where it's like for many of you gemini's you're craving people that you're able to connect with you're craving like your soul tribe right but you're not going outside all right. You're not going outside. You're not doing the things that you need to do to put yourself out there to be have your path link up with other people. All right. Th that's literally what the epitome of the magician in the page of cups is. It's like, darling, you want an upgrade? You want to have an improvements in your relationships? Eight of pentacles. Oh, and that's not the eight of pentacles. I said that too proudly, too. It's like eight of pentacles. Not even showing it. Eight of pentacles. All right. You want the you want improvements. You need to dem not even just ask for it, Gemini, but you need to start demanding uh, more for it. All right. Here, I do see new people coming into your life. Again, Page of Cups is new people, new opportunities coming in. All right. Really enhancing that Ace of Cups energy from prior. I feel like you guys need to hear the message, Leo. Why am I calling you Leo? Hello? <laughs> it has to be something with that strength energy. I don't know why all of a sudden Gemini decided to call you Leo, but... Uh, you could just be no i'm not gonna be that terry dirt i don't feel like it's i think i just messed up perhaps but like it is coincidentally the timing with the new people coming into your life here but um yeah gemini i just feel like for you you just have to go out there you have to put yourself out there the more that you put yourself out there the more that you're going to receive from the world that's what i feel truly for you it's like you're going to receive so much but you have to be out there you have to um you know it's like a message i want to say is like closed mouths don't get fed closed mouths don't get fed gemini i'm clarifying these cards here and one of the first cards that popped out the second card that popped out gemini i'm sure you are some of you are already seeing it 
that ace of swords darling or ace of swords again i get so i say it's so affirmative too i'm just like so confident I'm like ace of swords i'm like proudly wrong ace of wands <laughs> ace of wands eight of swords with that judgment energy here all right spirits essentially just saying darling it's just like your limitations are just from your own choices here all right some of you I, I feel like some of you gemini's have been really insecure lately and that's why spirit is really emphasizing this sense of attractiveness for you that's why spirit keeps on putting out to this ace of wands and just trying to like convince you gemini be like no darling you're gorgeous actually here all right because eight of swords energy eight of swords is the card of i mean I know in this artwork it doesn't really depict that properly here this is an economic context so you have to kind of go along with it but eight of swords energy is usually a card of like um self-involved illusion like being delusional about something in the sense of like you think you're trapped but actually you're not sort of thing even in this eight of swords it's like this individual could make the decision and getting wrapped up in whatever caused for this fight to happen right the woman that's at the door she's making the choice in whether or not she wants to be involved all right she's making the choice and she wants to get trapped into this all right she's making the choice if she wants to these three swords here get into uh, deal with this pain deal with that disappointment there all right so i feel like for you gemini you don't have to be fighting so hard don't make the choice and like i don't know i feel like for you gemini if you were to just make the affirmative decision especially for those that want to like move or something i feel like you could easily very quickly get to that goal you have the wailing tree popping up for you uh gemini number 59 equaling to five in numerology so the number five is calling out to you this week be sure to look that up later on reconciliations here all right reconciliations now i feel like for you gemini here this is like a message of where it's just like you acknowledge you acknowledge a situation for what it is and i feel like your path is going to meet up with certain like things again like that's what i want to hear is like even in the back of the deck the death card coming in it's like this isn't as final as you think like everything isn't as final as you may feel like it is or think it is it is uh gemini i feel like you need to and i feel like that's what the hardest part is for you to accept is just being like oh valka i don't want to move on i don't want to walk away from certain things and continue on because you still want certain things part of your life you still want to have certain goals accomplished what have you it's that message where it's just like we like your spiritual team is like we acknowledge this gemini but we want you to do this thing over here first like you don't have to give up on this you don't have to give up on these people entirely but let's reallocate your energy right now you can put energy towards those old situations at a later point all right is what i hear continuing on with your oracle cards here darling you got the tender embrace coming in here the elephants all right that's the thing that's really happening like again you get the animal that taught well, the card that represents an animal that represents the longevity right uh, elephants are known for long their long memories uh, uh elephants are known to like mate for life right and that's the thing it's like there's certain things that your path is like destined for certain people that your life is like destined to be part uh be part of your life but right now it may just be like a break period for some of y'all all right i don't know why their spirit seems to feel like there needs to be like this sense of reassurance for you gemini letting you know it's just like it's not permanent right it's not permanent all right, I guess you get y'all as I hit my mic. I guess y'all are getting two oracle cards this week, Gemini. You have the first quarter moon in Leo and last quarter moon in Aries, two fire signs. Be humble and walking through your work through your uh, feelings. Work through your feelings and be humble. Interesting cards to be having. Also, can we acknowledge that Leo energy popping out here? All right. <sighs> so, Gemini, at the end of the day here, I feel like for you, you need to just ex like, we'll leave it to that, I suppose. Maybe I'll do a part two, but I feel like there's like, a, a, I, I'm going to leave a channel message aside. This is for Tarot. Anyways, let's get into your predictions here. Um, my beautiful Gemini, let's see what's going to be happening for y'all today here. Y'all have this death card coming back out two of wands and six of cups here all right 
So this is a direct message of where it's just like leaving certain situations that you have a history with in the past for now, Gemini. All right. I hear that, you know, six of cups, that's a card of having history or something. Death card there. Two of wands. It's the sense for you, Gemini, where it's like you're about to be leaving the nest. And when you leave that nest, you have to leave certain childhood things, certain childhood attachments, certain things that you've had in your life for quite a long time because you're about to be stepping into a whole new journey for yourself. You can't bring a bunch along here, all right? And just because you're walking away, moving away from home doesn't mean home is going to be gone forever. Home, that Your home is still going to be there. There's going to be certain people that are going to be there, um, destined to be there in your life, Gemini, all right? But I feel like right now it's time for you to go on a solo journey. I feel like right now for you, it's important for you to uh, continue experiencing life, leaving certain aspects in the past. All right. You guys are doing really great, Gemini. I really want to celebrate you guys on your path and the fact that you've made it this far. And I think it's just there's nothing wrong with how sentimental you're feeling. All right. But there's this sense of where it's like you need to start taking advantage of like you know what this is uh gemini it's like that sense of where it's just like someone lost like their their wife someone lost their husband and they lost them young and forever since then that you have like that person hasn't dated ever since so it's like their attractiveness is just going to waste. No, they're not looking to anybody else. And at some point you have to move on and accept the fact that your person passed away. And it's time for you to move on from that and find a new person. All right. So deep messages there, uh, Gemini. I love you so much, darling. Hopefully this gave you some clarity. All right. Uh, if you want to book a reading with me, simplyvelka.com linked, linked down below. Be sure to follow me on my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. All that just being Simply Velka. Same as here. I love you so much, Gemini, and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.